Like we are literally in a eucalyptus forest. It smells amazing. What's up, Pea Nation? We're really excited today because we are in... Australia! We're in Apollo Bay to be exact, and we're gonna drive the Great Ocean Road today. We're gonna go see some waterfalls. We're gonna see some more waterfalls, hopefully some wildlife, maybe a kangaroo, I don't even know, and then end up in Melbourne to finish today. We're gonna try and hit some markets, maybe go to the beach. It's gonna be a big day, and a big day road tripping. So if you don't know, the Great Ocean Road follows like the southern part of Australia that is west of Melbourne. Mm -hmm. And we did a lot of it yesterday, but today, we're starting in Apollo Bay and heading back towards the city. So we're discovering this section of the road today. Time to get in the car, let's go. Uh, and we couldn't even make it 15 minutes without drive. I mean, we, we probably stopped like three minutes after we last talked to you because it is just so beautiful here in Apollo Bay. I love it. river coming out of the sand that goes through these rocks all the way to the ocean. amazing so far like completely different than yesterday we saw like the dry part yesterday today it's all like the other side of the coast where it's moist and there's rainforests and waterfalls we haven't gone to the waterfall yet because we're at a picnic looking out over the surfers it's gonna be awesome we've got kiwis and bell peppers and avocado some tomatoes chips and salsa just gonna make some sandwiches we got crumpets and jam crumpets. some unicorn I don't even know what these are fancies and of course sour patch kids trying to ward off the cockatoos because they get really aggressive. Oh no, they're coming. We've been transported from the ocean to the mountains. We're here at Erskine Falls, which is about like 20 minutes from the Great Ocean Road. It should be about a 25 minute hike. There is an upper falls and a lower falls. Let's go. got out of the car it smelled like eucalyptus like we are literally in a eucalyptus forest it smells amazing obsessing about this eucalyptus smell and I'm trying to find the leaf and this one has like a really strong pine smell but I don't know where the eucalyptus is coming from because it doesn't look like the eucalyptus like I'm used to seeing like the the coins I think that's what they call them they're like a different shape but it smells so good carpeted walls of forest. Oh, there's a mushroom.
All right, now we made it to the falls. We're at the bottom of the basin. We still have to walk back up, but it's absolutely beautiful here. It's really reminding us of our time in New Zealand. We went to the rainforest there. They had these crazy palm fern trees that I've never seen. It looks like something out of Jurassic Park. And the waterfall to add to that is just spectacular. Explore the city, it's gonna be great and probably grab some dinner. This is how you know you're ready for winter. Shorts and mittens. And on the way to Federation Square, we have made it to the Royal Arcade, which is not an arcade to play games at. It's actually one of the oldest shopping centers in Australia. Let's go check it out. Okay, this place is really nice inside. It's reminding me of Milan, the old mall they have there. It's just a lot smaller than that. And it's, all these little shops are really awesome. I'm really glad they kept this in the city. I want to go to each and every one because they smell so good. There's like confectionaries and clothing stores and incense stores. But we got to get onto Federation Square, so we got to go. Right behind me is Federation Square, but it's raining. So we're just gonna head back to the car because it's about to downpour really, really bad. It's right there. We came here. We're at the Grand Central Station right now. Melbourne has been an amazing city to walk around in. There's so much happening. People are everywhere. I mean, it probably helps that we came here at 5 p.m. on a Friday. But it's just so much fun to be in a city with so much activity. All that walking has made us really hungry. We're eating two pizzas now. But this looks amazing. We have a veggie pie with olives, spinach, pesto, red peppers, tons of cheese. It looks so good. And then we have just a very classic cheese and garlic pie. Whew. We are so full and that wraps up our day. It was an amazing day. Great Ocean Road just got better and better. The waterfall was amazing. I wish we would have had time for more. And then Melbourne just keeps getting more interesting. It's really, it's like a, it's like a fun city like as a tourist. Like we were just saying like it was really cool to be like a tourist for a night and it was just really fun just to walk around for like a few hours. Mm -hmm. You could probably spend a lot of more time here and like see museums and stuff. Yes. We did not have that time. And it's like a really cool city. <laughs> I'm recording, so... Look at these streets! <laughs> now let's walk up these steps! No. I don't even know, I think this is the government building behind me. 